the network. The brevity and all that, like, I often, how I mostly deal with that myself, whether it's with the, uh, the videos or, or um, being productive and, of course, uh, songwriting, is I always have to tell myself, like, in school, they used to be like, look, if you are a B plus student consistently, just by proxy, you usually end up with an A in the class. Because a lot of times it's just like when I'm writing that B plus paper and I kind of know it's a B plus paper, mm -hmm. I forget that there's that 10% in the class back in school, like 10% of the class is attendance. We forget that. And I, and that always hurt me. That's why I was never, <laughs> a plus because I, I just with that ten percent gone, so I'm at nine. I'm at a ninety right now. But if I'm just writing B plus papers consistent consistently, but the other ten percent is just attendance, then I'm an A plus student. Mm -hmm. And the, from the creative aspect, if I'm dropping B plus videos every single day or five times a week, I'm an A plus YouTuber. If I'm giving my B plus effort with my coaching. I'm an A plus coach because I'm there, right? Now I'm a, I as a create as a songwriter. I think the song that I just wrote is a B plus at best, but I released the song, but I put the a thousand dollars in promotion in it. Mm -hmm. Then I'm an A plus. You know what I mean? Where I always emotionally have to remind myself of that, right? This interview, right now we're flowing. It's good. It's beautiful. Like, am I sitting here like, yeah, it's definitely the 4.0 level, you know what I'm saying? The two <laughs> titans, like I don't know. You know, I'm really trying very much, but I know we're here and we know, yeah. I know we're pushing it. And I think that a lot of artists that would help them along as well, you know what I'm saying? Just from a creative yeah. standpoint, I'm like, look, man, finish the song. Try your best to get it to a, like a B plus level. Release the song. For me, that's an A plus because it will come. The, the doors will open, mm. you know? Yeah. I'm I think that that's it, man. Like half of the game is showing up really. And, and I know I, I've heard too many people, right? The whole hard works beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. I, yeah, I know yeah. too many people, whether just in sports or not, that that consistency has really made it a thing. The thing is, though, too many artists right, get caught up in the consistency of creating and putting out without considering the consistency of marketing. If you have to create consistent awareness and then you can expect elevation over time. The Russ example is the perfect thing because what people don't understand, okay, yeah, Russ dropped the song a week, perfect. And Gary Vee says drop like 365 songs a year, perfect, I can do that. And then it's just gonna happen, wrong. Like what people miss, when Russ got on SoundCloud, it was a completely different landscape. And these things evolve quickly. Trust me, coming from somebody in tech, man, like these things evolve super quickly. And the incentive, the way these platforms work, right? The incentive for them to give you organic traffic is different because they're trying to attract people onto the platform, right? Once they hit a certain amount, right? And I got, you know, Drew on here. I got Brandman Sean on here. I got all these other billion channels on here. And like we're, we're, we're good. We don't need people to convince themselves. People almost have to be there just a part of their business or a part of their, their life, you know, to stay yeah. tech in socially. I don't need to convince people and show them necessarily the best type of content and give them these great organic reaches. They're going to be here regardless. So now my incentive it, or my best interest is really just monetize this intention, right? Squeeze it for as much money as it's worth. Maybe that kills the business in the long, long term, but it, all that matters to you, right, is the fact that I can't do that anymore. I can't expect to post and get this organic traffic. So let's look at SoundCloud. When he was posting, it was a period of time where you post a song and you're going to get a certain amount of organic traffic. It doesn't mean necessarily like how some people would post on Instagram early on and get their very first post, not trying, not knowing anything, get like 60,000 likes, right? And, yeah. and 5,000 followers just off of that. It, it doesn't mean you're necessarily, he, he was necessarily getting that, but it, sometimes it'll be like, oh, this gets showed to 5,000 people. This song got showed to 10,000 people. This song blew up to like 100K or this song just got an extra thousand, whatever. It's random, but the point is the algorithm makes every single, single song get shown to new people particularly based on the tags and all that stuff in the beginning. Once they get a certain amount of people, 
again, like that's not happening for you. Like you, you, you post a song and if you don't pro- promote it, you got zero views for life, right? Like, so you mm-hmm. can't, that's the problem when people follow these strategies as well. Certain things, a lot of times we, <laughs> we don't try stuff until somebody else shows that it works. And right. most people are in a position where if it worked for that other person, so many other people who also flood into that market when they see it works, you're basically putting yourself in a losing position because now you're going to be too late and you're going to be behind the curve. You have to figure out what works for you. And sometimes it's going to be do- doing those things that aren't recommended yet. Right. And you need to be that person that, that, that makes that blow up happen because if you're late to the platform, well, you're going to have to be somebody with the money and connections. And now you're back to ground zero because you aren't the person with the money and connections. Likely depends on who. Lives. Yeah. It reminds me uh, of <laughs> Morehouse actually with the Morehouse hey. uh, back in the day. That's how I know the A. Hey. Um, they used to say, if you're on time, you're late. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. if you're early, time that's the most more Man, thing to say. i never thought about that because I've, I've always <laughs> thought that way about this in particular now right. that it finally makes sense i've never had a, t- a real lifetime that that actually made sense to me now i got got it <laughs> yeah man this is that a culture man it's, just- it's the network